Welcome back to CBS This Morning Saturday. The aviation industry was among the hardest hit by the coronavirus pandemic. Vermont's government support has kept many airlines from furloughing or laying off their employees. But that support is coming to an end, and with it, the reprieve that thousands of workers relied on. Chris Van Cleve has the story. American Airlines flight attendant Philip Delhunty will be out of a job, furloughed on Thursday. We got the uh, the furlough notice. It was devastating for everybody. American started the year as the world's largest airline with about 140,000 employees. COVID has devastated its business. When the government's payroll support program runs out next week, American will be 30% smaller. Overnight, 19,000 will lose their jobs and 15 cities will lose air service. CEO Doug Parker. I just can't believe that we, name, we may not be able to do the right thing simply because our elected officials can't come to any sort of compromise agreement. We're better than that. In a show of unity outside the Capitol this week, airline CEOs, union leaders and employees pleaded with Congress for another $25 billion in payroll support to halt as many as 76,000 furloughs and layoffs through at least March. This is real people moving their stuff into their cars and trying to figure out how to survive. For flyers, the furloughs could mean longer travel times and fewer options. Critics say giving the airlines more money won't necessarily save jobs because they're preparing for potentially a four-year recovery. United CEO Scott Kirby disagrees. We will be ready to bounce back, even if it's not 100%. We won't need all of that support, but we need support to get through until the vaccine is available and widely distributed. There is rare bipartisan support in Congress and the White House that something should be done, but a COVID relief package remains stalled, as is a Senate bill focused solely on airline aid. Americans are hurting, and we need things that work efficiently to get them help. We absolutely cannot let an entire sector of the economy uh, collapse. For Delhunty, political gridlock means an uncertain countdown to potential unemployment. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Chris Van Cleve, Washington.